Here we have a complex number that we want to write in a slightly different form, a more common form. So we have a complex number 2 plus 5i divided by i. So i is, of course, the imaginary number where i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So we want to write this in the normal form. We want to write this as some normal real numbers, a and b, where we've split up the a is all by itself, b is just multiplied by the imaginary number. So we want to get this to look something like this. So basically, what is a and b in this case? So to do that, we need to get rid of this imaginary number in the denominator. Great. It's not so hard to do that. We simply multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of i is just negative i. So we can take this expression, multiply by 1, or 1 in this case is negative i divided by negative i. So we're not changing the expression at all. We're just changing what it looks like. So we still have 2 plus 5i, and on the bottom, i. So what does this give us? A negative times i squared. Well, we can see i squared is just going to be negative 1. So negative times negative 1 gives us positive 1. And then in the numerator, we have negative 2i, and then we have minus 5 times i squared. i squared is negative 1, so we have a negative 1 here. So we can finally simplify one more step. We don't need to worry about the denominator anymore. It's just 1. We can multiply this negative 1 times this 5. So we get 5 from that minus, this is simplified, 2i. So in this case, a and b are 5 and negative 2. So this is the same as this original expression written in the more common form where we have some real number plus or minus some other real number multiplied by the imaginary number i. And that's the final answer.